Hey there. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on how to get NPCs and other things to kind of look at the player as the player is moving in 2D. Quick sprite type of thing. All right, here we go. Uh, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna make a new uh, thing in the scene here. Um, pardon all the other fun stuff in there. Maybe I'll. Um, oh, all right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this spider, drag the spider in here, put it right here. Okay, the only thing the spider's gonna do is face the player. There's the player. Starts off facing the player, that's okay. All right, so, um, so right now, the, the, uh, if I looked at the spider that I just placed, monster spider, and I look here, you'll see the green, the up arrow is facing that way. All right, so what I really wanna do is flip the, I'm gonna start just to, just to do this. I'm gonna flip the spider so that it's facing that way. All right just because I want up it facing up for now because why not okay so there's where it's facing next all right so I'm gonna put this do this in script this is gonna be a straight up um, kind of thing add a component and we're gonna call this NPC look at all right so Yep, NPC look at new script, create an ad. And this sprite's a little bit weird, but we'll go for it. We'll use this one. All right, NPC look at. Where are you? Monster spider. Sprite, come on, what happened? There we go. NPC look at, there it is. All right, so quickly, there's up, right? There's the up vector. So I'm gonna say, this is this is the good case of uh, wanting to have another target vector, right? So I'm gonna make a target here. And so that's gonna be target vec. And the target is gonna be target vec equals, it's gonna be the, the, the way I'm facing currently, first off. So it's gonna be transform dot um, well, no, okay, transform position. That's my position, but I'm interested in the hero's position. So I'm gonna do game object dot find, and in our case, it's hero, right? So I'm gonna find the hero's position, and I'm gonna subtract off my position. All right, that gives me a target vector. That gives me the direction I want to be pointing in. All right, now I have a current position as well, which is just up. That's that's currently where I'm, I'm up. So what I want to do is I want to find the angle that's between those two things, right? So vector two dot signed angle. It's gonna take two vectors, from and to. Okay, returns the signed angle in degrees between from and to. So we have our transform dot up and we have target back. That's gonna give us an angle. And so we're gonna say float um, diff, yeah, diff angle. So diff angle equals that. Now, um, just to make this simple, um, I'm gonna say transform dot, transform dot, rotate around, rotation, um, what did I have? Transform dot rotate. And you'll notice this is applies a rotation of Euler angle degrees to the Z and so on, so on, so on, so on. Okay. So if I were to say rotate new vector three, zero, zero, and now Z. 
Okay. That should rotate me in the direction of the player. Now, or maybe entirely opposite. So let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's run that. All right. I like to just go for it. All right. You will notice now that, yeah, sure enough, that worked pretty well. Oops, I died. Let's try that again. So immediately it senses, okay, I get to rotate around. And now it's just totally locked on. So it's always looking at the player there. Let's shoot some arrows up here. Um, it's a real deadly world that we're in here. Um, but yeah, that's the basic part of it, right? Now, if I didn't want it to immediately look at it, I could instead interpolate that distance, right? I could use lerp or I could even use like a, I'm just gonna use a really, really dumb interpolation just to kind of prove the point. Uh, and then we'll call it that, okay? So here, NPC look at. So instead of immediately going to diff angle, uh, I'm gonna have, um, let's assume that I want to rotate towards, so I'm gonna rotate by that much, um, I would use something like um, lerp, scalar lerp, right? And here I'm gonna have, whoops, scalar lerp, can I, can I actually do that? No, that's a bolt thing. Um, can I do a float lerp? So normally you'd be doing a, fl a vector two lerp. What is a scalar lerp? Um, I don't know. I've done that. Let's see. Oops. I'm gonna go and quickly look that one up on my other screen, so you don't have to stare at all that. Unity scalar lerp. Uh, scaling object using lerp. Vector three. Um, scale rotation. There we go. So um, I could just do it. You do the old fashioned way to say, okay, um, I want to move 10% of the distance between zero and there, right? So I could say, um, watch this, diff angle, not diff angler, equals some amount. I'm not allowed to move the whole thing. So I'm going to say diff angle times equals 0.1. Whoa. That means... And I'll say times time dot delta time. So it's going to move towards it, but only, only, it's only going to move 10% of the way. All right? That's the cool thing. That's what I should have done. Why was I saying lerp? So they're doing a dumb lerp anyway, right? 10% of it. So 10% accord, and then according to delta time. So in a, in a second, it would move 10%. Um, so actually, I, I mean, chances are, I could, this could be, for, for sake of argument, we're going to make it, allow it to rotate really, really fast. Um, so this delta time thing. So we're going to say 180 times. So in one second, it would rotate all the way around. Uh, nope, that's that's the angle. Never mind. Um, yes, let's go back to that. That is the angle already. I'm scaling that. 0.1f. So now we'll notice, hopefully, as we start playing, that it won't immediately, shouldn't immediately, but so now it's slowly rotating that way, maybe too slow. <laughs> Point one is too slow. Do, do, do. Other things are trying to kill me. Darn you, spider, hurry up. 
It's slower and slower and slower because, of course, now look, it's going to change direction because I can move up this way. All right? So I can adjust its speed by adjusting that little point 0.1. So let's just, um, yeah, let's make it one. So it's going to be 10 times faster than it was, which is probably going to be reasonable. Come on. There. Whoops. I hit the button too fast. Too fast again. Here we go. You ready? All right. So depending on how I set that, whoa, I got killed. Oh, I died. All right, good enough. That's the idea, though. All right, there's the code. There's the idea that you basically you you have again the target, and then you have the difference angle between the way you're currently facing and the target, and then you basically scale that according to delta time so that you can't move that fast. You can't move all of the distance. You can only move you know, some amount towards there, right? So you scale it by that. Um, and then you rotate it, all right? So that's the simplest way. The cool thing then is that what's gonna happen is because you're doing the rotate, then your transform dot up is gonna change according to that as well. So if you always move the character in the up position, the NPC in the up position, it's always gonna wind up moving in that, in that direction. So that's cool, All right? Done.